NC State heads to Louisville, and Louisville is favored by four points here. Total is 44 and a half. It's 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on the ACC Network. Let's pull up these numbers. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. Uh, based on the last five weeks, uh, my number has NC State minus 13, which was mind-blowing. But regardless, you know, here we are. This is this is the way it goes, I guess. Uh, you look at the, the head-to-head, the favorite is 4-1 and one against the spread in the last five meetings, but there's no real trend other than that. Um, NC State is 1-6 and six against the spread their last seven overall. They are 1-6 and six against the spread of their last seven conference games. They are 8-20-1 against the spread in their last 29 road games. And I think all of that is baked into this line. Louisville, 4-0 against the spread their last four at home. Their, their defense has been absolutely lights out. Absolutely awesome. So I, I was uh, excited about what they're doing. Um, yeah, I mean, this is awesome. So... Da, da, da. There we go. Make sure we answer that, of course. I I look at these numbers now. And, oh, Cardinals, by the way, 5-2 and two against the spread in their last seven home games against a team with a winning record, which is what NC State has. Uh, this quarterback stuff has really hurt NC State's offense. Uh, they can't run the ball, but we've been talking about that all year. The number 80 in rushing success rate over the last five weeks. Number 104 in PPA per rush. This Louisville defense, number 16 in PPA per rush and number 22 in rushing explosiveness allowed. The PPA per pass. Like, NC State's not going to be able to throw the ball on this Louisville defense either. But when you look at Louisville maybe trying to run the ball, that's going to be an issue because NC State's defensive line and their front seven are not going to allow that to happen. They're number five in PPA per rush on defense. NC State is. They're number nine in rushing success rate allowed. They're number five in offensive line yards allowed, number three in stuff rate. So I don't know that you're going to be able to get Malik Cunningham, if he's healthy, et cetera, uh, out of the pocket. I don't think you're going to be able to get like a ton of uh, chunk plays out of this. The issue for NC State is the secondary, right? Uh, Number 115 PPA per pass, uh, number 120 passing explosiveness allowed, number 83 passing success rate. The Biggest thing that Louisville's got here is number 18 in passing explosiveness on offense over the past five weeks. This could be maybe interesting as far as like interceptions because NC State, uh, they are intercepting 4.64% of the passes thrown against them over the past five weeks. Louisville uh, is throwing interception on 2.73% of their passes. So something to look at. Uh, maybe maybe we look at turnover margin, etc. cetera. Um, which is kind of crazy. Louisville does a really good job of like taking the ball away. They're number one in takeaways per game uh, on defense, but they're number 82 in giving it away. So that's why you've got a turnover margin of four because they average getting like a turnover margin of 1.1 per game. Um, but you look at what NC State's doing, they're number 43 in giveaways per game, so they don't really give the ball away much, and they're number 28 in takeaways per game. So something to pay attention to. Neither one is very good as far as penalties are concerned, et cetera, but uh, it is what it is. I I look at this, and a lot of people on Louisville right now, and I, while I do think that this defense is really, really good, this feels like it could come down to a field goal. So if I'm getting more than a field goal here, I'm going to take NC State plus the four. Uh, I like Dave Doran. Um, his name has come up for several other jobs. So I'm, I think he could be coaching for a different job, but we'll we'll see. I mean, they've been through so much this year with the the quarterback changes, et cetera. So yeah, uh, give me give me NC State plus the four on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary W C E, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.